friends, it's Rhett. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about high-risk pregnancy, my personal high-risk pregnancy, why I'm considered high-risk, what my doctor is doing differently with me, what my options are and were, what high-risk pregnancy even means, the complications, the risks, all of the things. So if you're interested in high-risk pregnancy, especially high-risk because you're over the age of 35 or even 40, then please keep watching. Before we start this video, I wanna show you my comfy, casual, cute little mama bear outfit. Okay, so this is the look we've got going on today. Nice, fun, casual little look. This new mama grant, mama grammed, no. Monogram, ma no grammed, wow. Carla asked me if I would braid my hair. She asked me if I knew how to do double braids, which I do. So we did double Dutch braids. I have my earrings that my bestie cat sent me in the mail because she was wearing them on her vacation in Florida. And I was like, oh my God, I love your earrings so much. And the next day they showed up in the mail. Gotta love her. Pair of leggings, just a pair of sneakers, running errands. See a little man? See a little man a little bit today. Yeah, there he is. To top off the outfit and to complete the whole entire look, I am obsessed. So here's the fun little put together, but very comfortable and casual look. I always have loved that Instagrammer look with a whole bunch of different bracelets and a watch up your arm. Can you see it? Just kind of add some spunk and some spice to kind of casual running errands. You just want to be comfortable outfit, but you want to look put together. Love, love, love this look. Such a huge thanks to my friends at Movement who gifted me this watch, made this look complete for me because I've always had the bracelets. I was never able to find a watch that I liked that went with it, that worked, that was the right size, the right color, everything. And they've sent me the perfect one. I'm obsessed with it. And let me show you the watch. Check this out. I am so proud of myself for this. So it opens, it's so easy. The clasp opens like this and it comes apart like this. Since Adam's been home, I've been a bit of a damsel in distress. And I was like, listen, when this watch comes, it's gonna be too big. I have these teeny tiny skinny wrists. I need to size this watch so I could wear it the way I wanna wear it. I was like, do you think you'll be able to size it for me? Or do you think we'll have to take it to a jeweler? He's like, I could probably do it. So when the watch came, he was at work and it came with this little tool where you can open it up and you could do it yourself. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait for him to come home. And then I sat on the couch and I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna be a damsel in distress anymore. I've been working my girl card. I've been a damsel in distress since he's been home. I layered on top of it being pregnant and I'm like not doing it. So I put on my brand new old lady glasses, my readers. They're cute though, right? Dollar from the dollar store. Then I grabbed the box. Is this not the cutest? Their packaging is gorgeous. I opened that bad boy right up. I did what Adam calls the unthinkable. Pulled out those directions. Look how cute that packaging is though. Pulled out the little directions, opened it up, opened up this little tool, and I sized the watch myself. Yes, girls, I did. I called Adam and I was like, the new watch showed up. It's so cute. I love it. The best part is I sized it. It fits me now. And he was like, who did it for you? And I was like, oh, me. He goes, how did you know how to do it? I said, I read the directions and he was like almost going to fall on the floor. I can be the man sometimes in the relationship where I'm like, who needs directions? We'll just figure it out. Just like I did in the baby Doppler video. I'll link it up there where he read every direction, every warning, every caution. Thank God he's around. And I was like, you just put it on my stomach and you look for the heartbeat. No big deal. They also have sunglasses blue light blockers, other jewelry, check them out. It is so fancy. I feel like I look very put together. I Now that I'm gonna be a mom, I feel like I look like a mom that's got my act together. I love, love, love this. Thank you so much, Movement. All the information for you to get a watch, to get sunglasses, jewelry, anything on their website. Movement was so kind and they gave me a 15% discount code just for you guys, my subscribers. If you use the link in the description box below, use the code ROW. Adam 15, R O A D A M 15, all caps. You will get 15% off of their website. Yay! It's all in the description box below.
Okay, let's get started on high risk pregnancy and all of the things involved. So I'm gonna pop the question up there that I got on Instagram from my beautiful friend who is expecting, I think number four now. Oh, I'm so excited for her. She's just a little bit behind me and we're like right around the same time frame. But she had her children when she was a little bit younger. Now that she's over 35, she asked me, she said, you'll do amazing. You seem open to the fact that everything may not go according to plan. I think being flexible is key and you've got that but I wanted to ask you a personal question. You don't have to answer if you don't feel comfortable. I'll explain while I'm asking. This is the first child that I'm having over the age of 35. It boggles my mind that they consider over 35 to be a geriatric pregnancy. That's why I'm wondering, were you automatically considered high risk because of your age? Did they take any extra precautions? I was wondering what they do differently than somebody who's under 35. That is such an excellent question. So what makes a pregnancy high risk? It could be a whole bunch of different factors like obesity, different kinds of diseases like diabetes, substance use disorder, PCOS, things like that, or it could be your age. Mothers over the age of 35 can be considered or are considered automatically a high-risk pregnancy. I'm 42, pregnant with my first child, and I'm considered from the very first appointment, I'm considered high-risk. So what does that even mean? Basically, it means that doctors will assess you a little bit closer. They'll assess your baby a little bit more closely. You'll probably have more appointments as you get closer to delivery. They're gonna monitor you and baby a lot more frequently just to make sure you're okay, just to make sure baby's okay. They'll monitor the fluid around baby. They'll do what they call non-stress tests, which is basically monitoring your blood pressure, make sure you don't have diabetes, make sure baby's okay, breathing, and all of that fun stuff. Now, baby is at risk for a couple of extra things as you get older, AKA your eggs get older. For example, Down syndrome, spina bifida, different kinds of disorders. But that does not mean that you are automatically at risk. It doesn't mean your baby is automatically gonna have something wrong with him just because you're high risk. You can have a perfectly healthy baby. You can have a perfectly normal full-term delivery with no complications or issues while being considered high risk. All it means is they're monitoring you more closely to make sure that nothing additional is happening because you are in a little bit more of a risky category. There isn't just one determining factor for high risk, although for me, example, my age, I am lumped into the high risk category, but then there's other factors within there that make me a higher high risk pregnancy, if that makes sense. So for example, your overall health, if you have any type of genetic conditions or diseases going into your pregnancy, if you live a healthy lifestyle, if you eat a healthy diet, if you exercise, if you smoke, if you have a substance abuse problem, things like that, that will make you higher risk. Just because you're high risk, because you have one of the factors, or just because of your age, you're over 35, or some of us over 40, doesn't mean much of anything other than they're gonna watch you more closely. Not only is baby at higher risk for stuff, mama is also higher risk for potential issues while she's pregnant. For example, high blood pressure, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, preterm labor, those types of things. So that's why they're watching you more closely. It's just because your risk factor doesn't mean it's gonna happen. Every case is going to be completely unique and very different. That's just why they're monitoring you. Nobody is judging you. So in my case specifically, my doctor told me the first appointment, the minute I walked in, I was high risk because of my age. And then she was so cool about it. She's just like, really, that doesn't mean much of anything. I can send you over to high risk if you want to, which is a separate facility, it's separate doctors. She's like, basically, they're gonna monitor you a little bit more closely. Honestly, it's completely up to you. It's completely your comfort level. It's your decision. I don't think that it's necessary for you to go. You're in perfect health, but I wanna give you the option. So I said, no, I feel perfectly content and totally fine over here. If anything changes, then we could talk about it then. And she was kind of like relieved. It, yeah, you have no reason to have to go over there. You are extremely healthy. You take really good care of yourself. You don't have any other genetic factors. You don't have any other medical issues. You're fine. The one thing that did work in my favor is when you're over 35 and you are considered a geriatric pregnancy, but, but a high risk or advanced maternal age is how they put it on your paperwork. It was my sister that said geriatric. She looks to stick it to me, Christina. I'm telling you. She has been doing this to me since we were 
right out of the womb, pretty much. So she had to rub it in that it's a geriatric pregnancy, just being the big sister, teasing the little sister, but they call it AMA or advanced maternal age. So you do qualify around 10 weeks or after I think it is that you can get the genetic testing. What it tests for is all of those abnormalities and then more. They want to make sure the baby doesn't have Down syndrome. The baby doesn't have all of these genetic issues that they could potentially have because you're high risk, but they could also in this test test for the gender. So it was really cool because being older worked in my favor. I was able to get the test. I was not even a little bit concerned about the results. I just have this gut feeling that everything is perfectly healthy and fine with my baby. And if anything's wrong and something comes up, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But it did qualify me to get the test. I was able to find out that we're having a little boy around 14 weeks only because I waited and I got my test done a little bit later. I was just going by my monthly appointments versus calling in and making the appointment at exactly 10 weeks for my blood test. Otherwise, when I went at my 12 week appointment, she couldn't tell on the ultrasound. She couldn't tell. It was too early and the baby was spread out in, I was calling him yoga baby because he was all stretched out. I hope he has long legs like his daddy. I hope he looks just like his daddy. It's funny. I met this girl at the gym the other day and she was like, my little girl is a mini me. And I was like, well, I hope my son is a mini his daddy. And I pointed at Adam and she's like, girl, yes, you did good. And I told Adam in the car and he blushed. He's so cute and so humble. I call him my humble hubby, but I really do hope I have a mini Adam just because I'm obsessed with him. Either way, I just hope I have a healthy baby, to be honest. So that qualified us for those tests. We got them all done. Otherwise, we would have had to wait until now 21 weeks when I go back for my anatomy scan, which my doctor's office can do between 19 and 21 weeks. I had gone to my 17 week appointment, so I just had to wait, not had to, but I decided to wait four more weeks when I'm 21 weeks and we're gonna get the ultrasound. Then I didn't mind waiting a little longer because I could see more of baby when we get the ultrasound. And now I already know from that genetic test and because of my age, my high risk insurance covers that. So that's really good. The only other thing that my baby is potentially at risk for because of my age, I talked about in my 17 week video is spina bifida, which they can't test on the first blood test because you have to wait until second trimester to test for that. It's an additional blood test. Adam and I decided we didn't even want to do it. If baby turns up having anything genetically wrong with him, which side note, if you watched our gender reveal video, which was so fun to make, I'll pop the link up there for you guys. The baby has nothing wrong with him. He has all of his chromosomes, all of the markers, nothing extra, nothing not there. Everything is good so far. We just don't know about spina bifida. We didn't want to go down the road with another blood test. My point is really being high risk worked in my favor because I don't feel high risk at all. In fact, my 17 week appointment, the doctor was raving at how right on track I am, how everything looks great. My weight was great. My blood pressure is insanely good, which it always is just because I'm an athlete. I'm always working out. I eat very healthy. I drink a lot of water, all of that stuff. So the old lady wins in this one. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, before I forget, because of my age and because of my high risk, my doctor won't let me go past 40 weeks because of the risk of having a stillborn. There's complications that can happen to the baby because of my high risk as I progress past my due date. Now, I consider that a blessing because of my age, once again, old lady winning. I live in Las Vegas. It's going to be 125 degrees when I am huge and waddly and sweaty and hormonal and I just want him out. Not to mention I want to meet him. I'd rather him be a little bit on the smaller side and come a little bit on the earlier side as long as he's fully developed full term. So I have a little bit of an easier time pushing him out. I am so, so, so petrified of labor and delivery. It's gotten a little bit better. Believe it or not, by watching Raw Beauty Christie's labor block. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that, my SD card got full and I got cut off. I swear, if it's not my battery, it's the SD card, it's a phone call, I apologize. Always something, and it's just about to get a million times better with a baby on the way, but you guys, I cannot wait to meet him. I cannot wait for you guys to meet him, hear his cries, see what he looks like, all of that fun stuff. But I was saying before, because you know me, I'm all over the place, I have this deathly petrified fear of labor and delivery. And the one thing that has calmed me down was watching Raw Beauty Christie's birth vlog. What's crazy is she was in so much tremendous pain for two days. 
I think her labor lasted 48 hours and for like 40 of them or something crazy like that, she had no epidural and Pitocin. And this woman was such a warrior. Her pushing, her everything was just gorgeous and beautiful. And she's such an inspiration and I admire her. And I've looked up to her my whole entire pregnancy because I didn't think I'd be pregnant just like her. I never thought that I would have the opportunity to have my own child ever. When I watched her video where she surprised her husband with the pregnancy test and she was so emotional, Adam was still inside. We had no chance of him coming home. We had no chance of ever having a baby of our own or ever being together, period, outside of prison walls because of his unfair sentence. And I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed and I was so happy for her and I felt like I could live vicariously through this beautiful YouTuber that I've been following for years. She doesn't know me from Adam and Eve. I always have to say Eve because Adam is my husband and then it just gets confusing for people for me to say that weird phrase, but I'm totally babbling. Anyway, I love her so much. Oh, and in my video where I surprised Adam telling him that we're pregnant, I said I felt like Raw Beauty Christie and somebody in the comments was like, girl, sit down. And I was like, oh, crushed, like, come on, we're, we have a one-sided BFF ship. <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in one of my other pregnancy videos, click one of those videos there. If you're not already subscribed, I would love if you wanna join the family, click that little circle there or the red box below if you don't see that. Sometimes you don't see these things pop up on the screen depending on your device. Don't forget to go check out Movement. Use all of the discounts that you can in the description box below because obviously I'm here for you and it's beautiful. Honestly, I never wanna take it off. I love you guys so much. Adam's on his way home. I gotta run. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.